A little pain and some more cries for a few months of protection before the parasitic malaria hits again. Malaria is highly infectious. It can cause high fever for hours and kill. Young children are the usual victims. More than 30% of child mortality cases in the world are caused by malaria. Somalia's statistics could even be higher than that because we've had very little access to medical services for the last 23 years. One third of those admitted in the Bernardin Hospital are malaria cases. Doctors say they admit more than 30 malaria cases in this hospital each day. Malaria cases are high. If in a day we admit 80 people, 30 cases would be malaria. Still, there are other patients that show malaria symptoms, but lab tests come negative. We treat them clinically. Some 1,300 children in sub-Saharan Africa die every day from the parasitic disease. That's nearly one child every minute. Malaria currently kills more than 600,000 people a year, and it remains a major public health challenge in Somalia. Malaria treatment in this country is usually based on assumptions. Doctors say people rarely come for tests. The common belief here is fever essentially means malaria. Around one in five Somali children dies before they turn five due to preventable diseases, one of them malaria. But many of the cases are from the southern and central areas where there is limited medical access. Baby Ryan was born sick. For the last six months we've been in and out of hospital. And every time the doctors say it is malaria. Before I brought her here, she had a very high fever. We came from the Lower Shabela region about 100 kilometers from here. We brought her here two days ago. She'd been misdiagnosed. Doctors here told us we should have brought her earlier. The World Health Organization put Somalia as one of the countries with the highest maternal and child mortality rates in the world. According to doctors at the Bernardir Hospital, malaria is one of the major killers. Perhaps the malaria vaccine that's now on its final clinical trials could, if made available, bring hope to millions of Somali mothers. Mohammed Hirmogi, CCTV.